Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about how to choose the right antibiotic for different types of bacterial infections. Antibiotics are powerful drugs that can kill or stop the growth of bacteria, but they are not effective against viruses or parasites. Choosing the right antibiotic is important to avoid side effects, drug interactions and antibiotic resistance. So how do you know which antibiotic to use? So let's start our videos. The main factor influence the choice of an antibiotic, such as the type of bacteria, the location of the infection, the severity of the infection, the patient's medical history. The first factor to consider is the type of bacteria that is causing the infection. Bacteria can be classified into two groups based on their cell wall structure, gram-positive and gram-negative. Gram-positive bacteria have a thick, waxy layer that stains purple when exposed to a dye called gram stain. Gram-negative bacteria have an extra lipid layer that stains pink. Some antibiotics work better against one group than the other, so it is important to identify the type of bacteria before choosing an antibiotic. For example, penicillins and cephalosporins are more effective against gram-positive bacteria, while aminoglycosides and quinolones are more effective against gram-negative bacteria. The second factor to consider is the location of the infection. Different parts of the body have different barriers that can affect how well an antibiotic can reach the site of infection. For example, the blood-brain barrier is a protective layer that prevents many substances from entering the brain. Therefore, only certain antibiotics can cross this barrier and treat infections in the brain or the spinal cord, such as meningitis. These include chloramphenicol, metronidazole, and some third-generation cephalosporins. Similarly, some antibiotics can penetrate the bone better than others, which is important for treating infections in the bone or the joint, such as osteomyelitis. These include clindamycin, rifampicin, and some fluoroquinolones. The third factor to consider is the severity of the infection. Some infections are mild and can be treated with oral antibiotics at home, while others are severe and require intravenous antibiotics in the hospital. The choice of antibiotic depends on how quickly and how effectively it can kill or stop the bacteria. For example, Bactericidal antibiotics are antibiotics that kill bacteria directly, while bacteriostatic antibiotics are antibiotics that prevent bacteria from growing or multiplying. Bactericidal antibiotics are usually preferred for severe infections, such as endocarditis or sepsis, while bacteriostatic antibiotics are usually sufficient for mild infections, such as acne or sinusitis. The fourth factor to consider is the patient's medical history. Some patients may have allergies or intolerances to certain antibiotics, which can cause serious reactions, such as anaphylaxis or Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Therefore, it is important to ask the patient about their previous exposure and response to antibiotics before prescribing one. For example, if a patient is allergic to penicillin, they may also be allergic to other antibiotics that have a similar structure, such as cephalosporins or carbapenems. In this case, alternative antibiotics, such as macrolides or tetracyclines, may be used instead. Other factors that may affect the choice of antibiotic include the patient's age, weight, kidney function, liver function, pregnancy status, breastfeeding status, and other medications they are taking. However, antibiotics are have negative consequences, such as side effects, drug interactions, and antibiotic resistance. Therefore, it is important to use antibiotics wisely and only when needed and to follow the instructions and dosages carefully. Hope this video helped you in understanding the antibiotics. For more informative videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.